Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to the new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we finally reached this uh, chasm underneath Rito Village. And uh, we have no time to waste, let's just go up to this dude. And see what he wants this time. Mm. I've been waiting for you. I see that. It is done. We have enough crystallized charges at last. That doesn't sound good. And now, our gift to the Demon King. A weapon beyond compare. This doesn't sound good. Will be reborn. What will be reborn here? Today, we'll go down in infamy. As a day of our ultimate weapon's resurrection. And the day the world faced its end. Behold this feat of engineering. It will probably be something really ugly here. Uh, I take back everything I said. The unstoppable Sonai construct. Damn. Count your blessings, Link. Your death will prove the Giga Clan's might. Then I go take my rightful place in the darkness below the castle, where the Demon King now dwells. And now you gave me that detail, dude. Yes, where the end of all things will begin. In the deepest reaches of the depths, far beneath Hyrule Castle. Wow. Now, come and get me. Is it like a boat boxing match? This looks like we're in a boxing ring at the moment. Okay. Nice. So how can we approach this? You're a heavy hitter. And you don't take almost any damage. And I have <laughs> zero cooked food. That's no good. Okay. Oh my god, and I go straight into the wall. Okay, so let's just try to aimbot this dude. And then we have him here. And we need something with more damage though. If I could decide. 40 is a lot though. It's really a lot. We have 49 here. But that's a two-handed weapon. There we go. Nice, a lot of damage. Quick little snipe. Can I jump onto this? I don't think so. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> so what's the thinking over here? Oh my god. Uh, that's not good. So what do I need to do here? Maybe take out a cannon? Guess put the cannon on the sword. Not sure how that would be good, but why not try it? Did he actually take damage on that? Rewind those. I think that's the thing they want me to do, right? Oh my god, I need... I don't want to eat all my ingredients, but I need to heal. That's good, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, this is no good. 
That's like zero damage on him. <laughs> okay, so wait for him to do his shooting thing and then rewind those. That's all you need to do. Come on, dude. Now he's angry. Wow. So do the most damage weapon we have. Okay, one more, one more. I will eat because I don't trust myself here. Ah, it hurts my soul eating those. Must be able to do something on these also. Can I maybe? I'm no sure clue what I should do there. That will not blow him up. That makes sense. This will blow him up. And that should be enough. Nice. Your master weapon wasn't so good, huh? My beautiful weapon. All my work destroyed. You little twerp. Now oh, he's gonna be mad. <laughs> I was this close to destroying the world with the Demon King. Do you think I'm just gonna... Just going to let this stand, do you? <laughs> what is his next super plan here? Time to bust out my serious moves. A brand new technique I came up with in the deepest darkness of the darkness depths. It will destroy you. Somehow, I doubt that. Maybe. <laughs> Trembling fear for my unstoppable Kuga rocket. I just... Oh my... That will destroy me. Or himself. <laughs> Great plan, dude. That wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, you don't tell me, huh? How dare you, Link? I'll have my revenge. Was that somehow my fault, huh? Does that mean that he's up in the overworld now? I hope the quest line continues. Because we have those uh, places that the Giga Clan have up there that we cannot go into yet. Like their hide, how hideout bases. Greetings, I will come to you. Please wait a moment. What what a nice little service. Thank you for driving out the trespasser. I watched your battle closely. It is unlikely he will appear in another abandoned mine. His manner of departure attests to that. Mines similar to this one can be found under thriving surfaces, settlements, and other places of distinction. There appears to be some connections between the surface and the depths. Very curious. 
Perhaps you find this equally intriguing. It may be a good idea for you to explore this connection. There is one other thing before you resume your journey. Give me some loot, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want the recipe as well. Of course. Nice. Even more nice. The only bad thing is we have zero sonites. <laughs> and we're gonna get a new store over here. So give me the schema stone. I deserve it. Welcome! This was once a busy refinery where a great deal of sonite was processed. My task here is to manage the sign. What can it be? Rocket platformer. That's nice. Okay, so how does this work? And it's stable because that one is stable and then it will... That's smart. Nice that they have <laughs> put those there. Thank you, thank you. And I also see some just laying here. Never seen these just laying around. Let's open this door. Oh. I have no money for that. Let's go and read their... Um, their book over here. Maybe that gives us a clue of where we should search for him next time. Every Jiga should keep our glorious purpose kindled in their heart by singing our anthem at least three times a day. That sounds like a cult. Jiga clan anthem of the depth. We clump on earth. Glory to the Kuga and the mighty Jiga clan. Our master is the strongest. He's got a secret plan. His fall from sand to darkness did bring him to the depths. But did he waver? Never. He into action leapt. The Giga clan then followed. Hearty, hearts fairy and true will soon raise up our weapon revived by stone of blue. In the dark we dwell now. We convert clumps of earth. Soon we'll rise to take Hyrule for everything it's worth. Glory to the Kuga and the mighty Giga clan. The earth itself will tremble our ascension in it. Blah blah blah. Glory to you guys, of course. 100%. Okay, so I guess we're pretty much done here for now. Ooh. I wonder if it keeps going behind the trees there. It should not do that, but I want to check the trees out either way. King useless Poe. Like, I never tried it. Can you, like, cut this down? You can. And what do you get from that? Nothing. It's so sus that they are all standing here. What happens if I cut them all down? Such a waste on the weapon durability, and nothing happened. Ooh, but I should probably be able to fuse this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we have anything that we haven't fused? Yeah, the cannon club we can be managed to be without. Let's see what this does. Nothing at all.
Okay, so we're done with that. Let's go back to Joshua then and ask her what she thinks about the death after this. Hi, Swordsman. Welcome back. You look like you're in a good mood. Did you discover something? Oh. Wow, you defeated Kuga? Well, of course you did. You're the Swordsman. Did you, he have any clues about Princess Zelda? Uh -huh. Oh no, nothing, huh? Well, even so, there's one less danger for the Princess. I'm not even uh, surprised you did all this. You're, st oh. you're the Swordsman. I'll be hard at work here with my research into the depths. Just come let me know if you find anything out, Swordsman. I thought you would give me some information there. To be honest, but maybe not. Maybe it's time to go and do the... The regional phenomena down in the... Southwest. So from here, we want to go that way. There he is. Stop saying that a shrine is just beneath me here. I don't have the time to, sh to find all the shrines every episode. That's Then it's only be gonna be shrines that we do. Oh, here it is. That made everything a bit easier. <laughs> Hidden metal. <laughs> so is this like... Oh. That will make that one spin, probably. Yeah, okay. I only see one way to complete this. Yeah, maybe you don't have to make a cutscene. There you go. Carry is this. Okay. Nice. And then we ascend here, I guess. If I could make a guess. The electricity go there. To here. Oh. Okay. This should touch that, and then we need something to poke with. Which is probably up here. Well, this was here at least. That's a good shield. Uh, drop that for that. Okay, I see what... It's this thing I need to break. And then put it here. Boom.
I wonder if it's still night. Yeah, it is. Nice. It was a bit stupid jumping down because it's, it's high up that you have to come. Uh, but here is someone. What can I do? As you can see, my husband is too sick to move. I'm caring for him here. This is my fault. I wanted the two of us to have a wedding adventure that has now proved to be unwise. He has a weak con constitution by nature. Once before, he collapsed from illness. A kind travel helped me treat him then. I have since pushed myself to know the way of medicine. It was only a matter of time before he would need more help. The return of my husband's illness is my fault. But I know what it will take to heal him this time. A medicine made of from Gliuk guts. Do we have any Gliuk guts? Gliuk is a horrible creature that flaps across the sky using huge wings. I know there's one that flies over Gerudo Canyon, but attacking it would be difficult. I will need to prepare somehow. I don't think we have Gliuk guts. Let's take a look. Monster parts are where? Here. Any guts? Any guts? Here's guts, but Bokolobin. Moblin. Horriblin. Not Gleox. That sucks. But while we're here, seeing this beautiful fire, I will cook some um, temporary food at least. This, that's better than nothing, I guess. Same thing with the tomatoes. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Potato, potatoes. That's good enough for now. What is this? Nothing. And we need to go up. So why not just climb this? a stable down there or is it a Kuroko seed thingy? I think it's a stable, huh? It really looks like a stable. That sucks now that we have climbed everything. If we're gonna just jump down again. We're gonna jump down soon. <laughs> Let's just watch this place. Like, what is this? Is that just a lamp? Wasn't it here that that dude was? Oh, I thought that could be a Kuroko. Yeah, he's here. I got some... Oh my god, dude. For reals. On the last second, huh? Wow. That's not very kind. Let's go and check out the, um, the stable here. First to Kara Kara Bazaar. Here you are, dude. Why would she do this? Whoa! Hello there, partner. What brought you all the way out here? I heard that visitors stopped coming to this stable, so this place had to shut down. But here you are. The severe, the severe chill around here is nothing to sneeze at. But look at you, kid. Strutting around like it's just another day. I've come to this stable because my resource 
Because my sources were chirping about a problem with this well here. Actually, they say Princess Zelda caused this problem. She shut down this well and declared it off limits. But without its water, the stable couldn't keep travelers, horses, or the workers refreshed. The well also provides a steady supply of mushrooms to the folks here. So why did the princess want everyone to stay away from it? That's the big question. What we're short on is an answer. Uh, the owner who stuck here, who's stuck here is just as puzzled as everyone else. And I can't weasel down the well to see what she was concerned about. My wings are too wide. Oh, I wish there was some ways we could get more details. Uh, but seems like the dead uh, deadest of dead ends to me. Well, let me jump down then. The blocked well. Oh my god. This tells me it's gonna be... <laughs> A lot of those, if it's called the blocked well, also. Uh, so let me bring out my good friend. Hopefully he will join us down here soon. I heard you. There you go. Oh, what up dudes? I think I have a pick on you. I do. You don't like the water? Oh my god. That's a headshot. That's not the headshot. Nice with some fishes. Oh, it's one of these, huh? The hell? Yep. That's an enemy as well up there. Skim it, huh? I want, I want. I will drop you for that. Picture on this one, electric, huh? That's scary. Well, if you're electric, you should be vulnerable to water. Wow, the hell? Why are you so quick? Made me drop my bow. It's not very kind of you. Oh, no, 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 don't use that. Freaking hell, huh? I can't even reattach my bows before you... How can you manage to be in the water here? I wonder. There we go. Partner, I heard monsters down there. Are you okay? Of course I am. So how did... Okay, we're up again. So, what did you find in the well? So there was a lot of monsters behind the pile of rocks. I can't help thinking the princess knew about the monsters then. She must have had a... She must have had a barricade put up to the seal and away those creatures and protect everyone here. Now why the princess didn't say so, that's a mystery, but maybe she was she wanted to keep any panic from spreading. Or maybe it was only a very temporary measure, but then she disappeared. Yep, a little speculation on my part, but that's gotta be the story here. What do you say? Uh, holds up, right? Our job is to follow the facts, and that's where they take us. You know, 
We now chased five of the leads that might have something to do with Princess Zelda. Your investigations are the talk of the office at the Lucky Clover Gazette. You really shown some promise. And it turns out the paper is doing really well thanks for the articles we keep putting together. Which is why Tracy told me we're both getting races. Go on and end this to your nest egg partner. Nice. We needed to make some educated guesses with our story more than we normally do, but... I'll stand by this piece. Uh, we know our princess after all. She had to have everyone's safety in mind. I'll get to writing all this up for the paper. You take care of yourself. So long, so long, so long. Nice. We're done with one more of those. Soon the slippery gear will be all mine. Rusty claymore. Huh? Maybe we should snap a pic on it. It stood really nice there. Also, do I need to snap a pic on the dogs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course I do. Hello, dude. Let, let me pose... Pose you for a bit. That's cute. But can you what, look into the camera, maybe? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Not the picture, though. Ah, You're happy now? That's a good picture. Can I give you something? Like meat, maybe? Sounds like something the dogs like. Are you with me now? Take one more. Just for you. It would be so nice if you could have like a dog as a companion with your fighting. Ah, you're a good little boy. Will I ever clean this up? Do you need help? Oh my god, this is a lot of loot. <laughs> Why is it one million boxes in here? I will gladly help you clean up. If it means that I can take all these apples and arrows. Just what I need. Let's talk to him also. Uh, good job making it in here. I mean, it's impressive that you came all this way. But the stable has closed this door for good. Thanks to this extreme weather, almost no one rides through here. We get very few visitors of any sort. Making things worse, Princess Zelda gave the order that everyone had to stay away from our well. But we need that water, not to mention the mushroom that grows inside it. It's only temporary, it'll help, she said. I'll be right back to fix it, she said. And then she completely abandoned us. That's no good. You're saying Princess Zelda sealed the well to keep monsters from coming out of it? To save the stable? I'm ashamed of myself for even imagining that she would abandon us. She really did have our best interest at heart. Come to think of it, we did have a surge in monster sightings after building that well. That only ended once it was sealed off. But I was so busy cleaning out the stable, I never even considered that they might be connected. Ah. Thank you for looking it into it for me. Next time I see Princess Zelda, I'll be sure to thank her too. As for me, I got a mountain of junk to clear out, and I'll get back to it. I can't leave a mess when I close things down. But just how am I going to deal with all this stuff? You tell me, dude, I will just destroy it, and then I take the gear that you drop from this and it's a win-win oh my god two stacks of five one stack of ten this is like Christmas <laughs> another stack of five I don't care Could have just lighten everything on fire, I guess. But now it's cleaned up. Aww. Sorry, but I need to focus on cleaning this place up for now. <gasps> Whoa, all the junk is gone. I wasn't sure what you were up to, truth be told, but clearly it was all part of masterfully removing that junk. You saved me, thank you. I sort of let a junk pile build and build until it blocked the entrance, <clears throat> which was a real problem. 
There's still some work to be done, but thanks to you, I can get out of this place. That said, given what I'm wearing, this uniform and this stable still standing, would you be my yeah. final customer? Okay, welcome to Gerudo Canyon Stable. You, sir, have the honor of being the very last guest this stable will ever have. And that, dear customer, deserves commendation in the form of one pony point. Yay! <laughs> well, that appears to be the end of my time as a stable head. It's been a pleasure, sir. And I sincerely hope your journey ahead is a fruitful one. Now then, I still have a little more junk to clean away, so I better get back to it. Thanks again for all your help. It's oh. sad that you're closing the stable. Hmm. Oh, I forgot about those. The stable association sent us those frames a while back. Oh. They just sort of got buried on, under all the junk. Huh. Let me just take off the wrapping. They're even nicer than I thought. Maybe a little art on the walls would be nice, just so the stable's final day don't have to be so lonely. You want me to put on picture here? Ah. ah, Link. Has that empty frame caught your eye? That's correct, dude. Hmm. I was so confused on cleaning up, I completely forgot about these frames the stable association sent me. I owe this stable a lot, after all the good years it's given me. I like to put up something nice so it can go out in style. You know, I heard an interesting story from a Rito traveler who stopped by here once. Ah. There's this local attraction nearby, Spectacle Rock. Just check your map, the place is famous. And this traveler told me that while they were flying over Spectacle Rock, they glanced down and saw it smiling. That's what I want to frame. What could be better than sending the stable off with a smile? It's just a shame that I can't fly to capture that view for myself. Uh, but if I had even a picture of the smiling spectacle rock, I could copy it for the frame and share things up in here. And I guess this is another uh, quest. Oh, Link, did that picture frame pique your cur curiosity? Yeah, it did. Just tell me what to do. Hmm. <laughs> it turns out the Stables Association sent me two frames by mistake. Kind of ironic given we're about to close. But far be it from me to look at gifts horse look a gift source in the mouth. I might as well use the other frame to bid the stable for Wayland style. I took a picture of the giant sword stuck into a peak of the Gerudo Highlands. It's the neat goodbye the stable deserves. It's just northwest of here, but I won't be able to go see it. I have cleaning to do. Besides, it is cold in Gerudo Highlands. Even a copied picture of the giant sword would live liven up this old place. So a sword and a happy smiling something. A sword? Giant sword? Is that something we get from here? Is that the giant sword? No, that's to the right. Maybe it's... But that's not a sword either. Then I don't know what they want. A picture for the close table too. <sighs> With a painting of a giant sword which is said to be found in the Gerudo Highlands. Gerudo Canyon, the Gerudo Highlands. And it should be cold, Gerudo. Somewhere here is a sword thing. Okay, and then we had Spectacle Rock. The faint spot can be found on the map. A smiling rock. Spectacle Rock. It looks like a smiling rock. It can be found from the map. And that's... <laughs> From the Rito village they flew also, so they sh flew from here. And on the way to this place they found a smiling rock. Well, that's some quests for another day then I guess.
Uh, what, were we done down in this well? That fish got scared. It's like, felt like it should be something behind the, the last enemy we killed. And also we haven't found a, a bubble frog, so this cave is not done. I think we have a pick on this. Yeah. But it's a well, not a cave, so bubble frogs doesn't have to be here, that's true. That's stupid by me. Uh, so let's go up again. Oh. And here this dude is. Standing and needing some help from us. We have to attach two of these together. That's actually great. And then a third one just for good luck. Oh my god. I heard you fell fell down. Who told you you could fall down now? Huh? That should be enough. Yeah. Can we talk? Please? Ah! Mm -hmm. It's standing. Ah! Give me my reward. Ah! Perfect. Indeed, it's perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. Fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Money, food, and something special. Nice, nice, nice. So this light under the rock here is a bit sussy. So let's go and check that out. Right under a shrine also, that we have already done. But I'm just getting sussed out by the lightning here. This is just the way back, huh? Well, we're not going back, we're going onward. Is the plan at least. So here's the shrine we were in like the beginning of, on the episodes. That's bad. So like is this... Can I get out the uh, horse from here? I don't think I can. Oh. It's a new one appeared. I don't say no to free free arrows. Okay, let's just build the car. If we cannot get the horse, we build the car. There we go. Let's see if we can maneuver this height canyon thingy and you need to get disabled again nice now we're in the unbearable heat my favorite thing to do uh, i guess this is only flame resistance and not warmth resistance maybe we shouldn't have the warm cloth on as well I know I have heat resistant food still. One three minute and one one minute, that's not good. And one four minutes. Let's start with the four minute then. 
Here we have a Kuroko seed needing help. I will do that. But first I will talk to these. Hey over here, Vazak. I can't help but smile whenever I got customers. Whether it's one or a hundred. It's not enough that these intense desert days and freezing desert nights have reached Gerudo Canyon. Thanks to that sound shroud... Thanks to that sound shroud, there hasn't been any business here at all. Ah. If you're interested in sand seals, then you're in the right place. Sand seals are animals that can cruise easily through the deserts. And this shop is where you we rent them to travelers. Many travelers embark on journeys into the desert only to discover how, how quickly their th feet sink into the dunes. So if you're thinking of crossing the desert, you should make it make it easy on yourself and go sand seal surfing instead. Ah. Renting a sand seal costs 20 rupees. Or if you're interested in a sleigh seal, uh, a sand seal with a carrier, it's 50. Um, I will rent one later, but not right now. Do you have a quest? Mm. Hmm, excuse me. If you're looking to rent a sand seal, go right ahead. Don't mind me. I'm busy trying to figure out how to how I'll get back to Gerudo Town. Gerudo Town? It's a bit hard to see it right now because of the sand shroud covering the desert. I guess, is that the town? Or is that the lookout tower? Maybe it's both? No, the lookout tower we have already unlocked here. Mm. Look far in the distance. Do you see that shrine peeking out above the sand shroud? Yeah. That's where grew the town in. Oh. Shrines just like that one appeared all over the world after the upheaval. Uh, lucky for me... Too. If that hasn't had shown up, I, I'd have completely lost sight of the town. Of course, it's really hard to see inside the sand shroud, so it might be impossible to reach town even with a sand seal. I was supposed to investigate those ruins too, but trying to travel in the sand shroud was a terrible idea. Maybe I should just stay at Karakara Bazaar and rest. I'd mean it, it mean giving up getting back to town, but yeah, yeah, yeah. And where are you going, dude? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I think I see the smoke signals. Yeah. You tried to move, but you can't. Then let me help you. And I wanna rent the sand... Uh, sand dudes. But let's just fly with this dude. Then we can fly back. Ah. Oh my god, that was close. There we go. Boom. That's your friend. I know. Nice. Bye bye. I wonder what the price are for um, my weapon slot after the. Because it was 12 last time. And then we did an upgrade. Maybe it's 14 or 16 this time. Okay, let's do the shrine. A sliding device. Okay. They will drop here, and then I will just rewind them. Oh my god. I want to grab one with me. The hell? I guess it's like a quicksand here. So if you fall down, you will die. Everything there. 
Oh well, doesn't really matter. So center it. And that should be it. Oh my god. Let me turn now, please. No, commanded. Nice. So I know that the, uh, the exit is behind me, but I'm gonna take the chest as well. Because why not? That's a good parking. That's worth, I would say. Arrows is always nice. And here we can just auto build. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> a bit close. If I could say it myself. And uh, there. Now my heat resistance is ending, which is no good. But I still have two foods, I think, with heat resistance. One more for the heart upgrade. What is this tower? This is like a small town maybe? Yeah, and it's not even hot in here, which is good. That we need to be buy. Uh, so let's just buy it directly here. Oh, I have to read there. Uh, Vasak, ah, that caught your eye, huh? I knew it. It's a must-have for any fashionable bow that is trying to live that hot desert life. That headband is the late last one I have. Uh, you know, if you buy it, I'll tell you a super special secret that even most Grudas don't know. <laughs> you had me sold even before the secret, so thank you. <laughs> Sarak, uh, since you were kind enough to buy the last one, I'll keep my promise and tell you the secret. <laughs> the headband you just bought is only one part of the Desert Vow series. Uh, there is also a spa spalder and trousers. But you have to go to the special place to get them. Have you heard of the store Fashion Passion in Gerudo Town? Well, the secret shop is located behind that store. Oh, now that I think about it, Vo aren't allowed in Gerudo Town. Forget I said anything. That's no good. Because I guess it's that gear we need to get inside uh, Gerudo Town. Some uh, melons. Oh, this is something new. Should also just yeah, snap a picture on this. Like all this. Boom. Some melons, why not? And some oil. Which I cannot snap a picture of. Wasak. I will buy all of them. Oh. Also the melons I will take. It's pricey though. I will take this as well. Thank you, and what do you wanna say? Savak, Savak. Hmm, you're an unfil unfamiliar face. Are you a member of the caravan squad heading to Gerudo Town? Uh, caravan squad. Oh. They're a group of highland merchants. Uh, it's not as th though they can do business in the sand shroud, so they are helping out by guarding the entrance here. <laughs> uh, it's clear their plan is to gain access to Gerudo Town by getting into our good graces. But our law above about Vo is absolute. We couldn't uh, let them in if we even wanted to. Gerudo Town. Gerudo Town is the s to the southwest of here. It's the biggest town in the region. That said, the laws of Gerudo forbid Vo, that will say men, from entering the town. That's a bit sexist. Oh. Hey. 
You're hot. Uh, I have 163 arrows. I really don't need to to buy your overpriced arrows at the moment. And then we had a well here. Let's just let go on that one and drop down. Some crabs. Okay. The source of the oasis, huh? No, 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 no. This is stupid. But we don't have... I was like, we should use our... Um... Sage? Is it Sage? Yeah, it's Sage. Um, but I don't think they spawn in this, because this counts as a town. Or do we have our other friend here? No. There we go. Nice. Not that we really need them, but why not? Takes forever. <laughs> For some reason. Maybe it's because these are darker. Because usually these are one hit uh, with the double handed weapon. But I guess if they're a darker color on the stones, maybe they will count as a harder stone or something to break. Uh, stop shooting water, please. Ah. God, this That's not enough. How deep is this freaking stone? There we go. Take the sapphire. Was this where we were? Yeah. Ah, these are one hit. Oh my. It never ends, huh? Like the cave underneath the uh, lookout landing. go back for now because we had because this looks like it keeps going and we had one more of the stone thing is here to break this one oh that's where we came from actually that's done this this one we haven't done yet I was 
like was it only a broken barrel here but i didn't see this nice and i guess we drop that was it here yeah Maybe take one of these and just put a boulder on it. This is sand, huh? Oh, don't tell me that I was supposed to use the boulder here. That's not good. really able to do that either so is this just an entrance for the same cave uh, okay I will still have this will this do anything let's ascend here and see what's above us then if I'm able to why am I not able to That's weird. I really have no clue what I'm supposed to do here. I don't think explosions will help. Nope. Where can we ascend? We can ascend here. No. So where are we starting to be able to ascend? Over here, huh? So let's just see what's above us. What the hell is this? Wait, oh. oh, yeah, I take damage. Oh, it's from the cold, huh? I was like, do I take damage from the sand here? It will like suck me down and then I will probably get down to the cave again. Yeah. So I guess what I'm wondering now is can I like shut that thing down by putting some big stone from the top here? Let's try that just quickly. Let's run, run up here. Anything of value? Or use? Nope. It's freaking impossible to see even where you're going here. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, let's just climb this for now. See if that makes us any smarter. Oh, we get above the stormy weather. That's nice. There's the town, huh? It's just straight behind the, the little town here. Let's just go back to the town. Here we have some quest line, it seems. Hi. Sub Saba. Hmm. That was a perfect Sa, if I do say so myself. Ah, I don't think I've seen you around here before. Good on you for saying hello. Who are we? We are the first men who will officially officially do business with the Geredo. Gerudo. The Voy Caravan Squad. 
If you too want to go to Geruda Town, you would do well to make friends with us. Oh. Uh, ah. Sorry. I will just skip this. Vogue Caravan Squad. Uh, we're a group of merchants and friends who have long dreamed of doing business in Gerudo Town. Ah. I think they just want ladies. <laughs> oh, and Vo is the Gerudo word for man. Vo is the word to know. If you don't understand at least one word in their language, the Gerudo will never accept you. And we should know we spent years here trying to curry flavor, curry favor with them any w way we could. Uh, they finally entrusted us with protecting the western entrance to Karakara Bazaar. Ah. I've lost count on the numbers, okay. They didn't give us anything of use there. But I think this place actually is a good spot of ending today's episode, because we're in dire need of cooked food. And here is a cooking station. And the time has gone over the hour mark already. If you've enjoyed this episode, please as always consider liking, because it helps, liking the video that is, because it helps me a lot. Also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss on the future episodes. This has been 23. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.